The following film is my full submission to the 2024 Sundance Film Festival. It is my entire Pajama Sam video, but edited for copyright. I actually submitted this. Please enjoy. Today we're going to find out if ChatGPT, the current smartest AI on the market, can beat the entirety of Pajama Sam, the classic 1996 point-and-click adventure game for children. Now, I absolutely loved this game as a kid, so I made an app where I can ask questions into my microphone, and ChatGPT will answer in character as Pajama Sam and try to solve the various puzzles of the game. Once my code was written, we just had to find a voice for the AI Sam. His original voice in the game sounds like this. So I recorded myself impersonating Pajama Sam and then fed it into this AI voice generator and it sounded like this. Literally indistinguishable, dude. That's all right, but it's not quite Pajama Sam, right? The voice needs something special to help it sound more like a prepubescent boy. What this voice needs is Point Crow. So I asked Point Crow for permission, downloaded one of his YouTube videos, mixed that with my own voice, and then got back this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> now that is a beautiful boy. That's so good, I'm sending this to Point Crow. He loves it. But it's still missing a little something. So I asked my friends Failboat and Sandwich, who both sound way more like Pajama Sam than I do, to send me some voice samples, and I started mixing together all of our genes into an AI soup. <laughs> He's beautiful. Why is it Mickey Mouse? Sam, are you okay? Why is it rumbling? It does not sound like a like a boy. It's literally just parks her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Honestly, that felt pretty good. I don't like the demon part. After a lot of testing, I found that the most accurate way to impersonate a small boy is with Point Crow and Failboat's voices and nothing else for some reason. He's perfect. It's so good. How is it this good? How do Point Crow and Failboat combine together make a boy? <laughs> I don't get it. And now that our beautiful AI boy has a voice, we are ready to begin playing Pajama Sam. But be warned, my dear viewer, as you might have noticed, this video is very long and it is a very stupid journey. There is adventure, there is heartbreak, there is tragedy. Join me as we learn if the most sophisticated AI technology that humanity has ever created can beat a children's game for three-year-olds. If this is a game for three-year-olds, then how was I able to solve it in only two? I'm glad we have you on our team, dude. Your knowledge is gonna be invaluable. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the opening of Pajama Sam. He had no need to hide when it's dark outside. The game from 1996. Here we go. The hideous and blood-curdling darkness. Shut up, Mom! I want to play video games, Mom! Uh-oh. Hey, Sam, our mom's being a real bitch right now, am I right?
Yeah! And now we begin. I'll give it some background. Oh no, Sam! The adventure just began! Mom turned off the lights in the room, but now it looks like darkness might be hiding in the closet. But first, we need to get your flashlight, lunchbox, and pajama Sam mask. I'll start looking around the room right now. Where should I look for stuff? Okay, people are saying click the sock. Thank you, Sam. Okay, he did actually tell me to look under- Wait, hold on! I just remembered where one of the things is because of what he said. Oh my god, ChatGPT is crushing it. I would never remember this if it wasn't for ChatGPT. You look under the carpet. It's not a bra. This is a child. Okay, Sam. I've looked all over the floors. What else should I look for in the bedroom? We just need to find our pajama Sam lunchbox. What does this do? Oh, shit! Oh my god, it's- He's fucking nuts. <laughs> We're getting so hyped for ChatGPT solving a children's game. Okay, Sam, we found all three of the things you need. Are you ready to go into the closet to capture darkness? Good thing I just bought that 3090 graphics card. And to the person asking, yes, this is the Ray Traced remaster. Okay, Sam, you just jumped into the closet and fell down into a whole forest of darkness. You're at the end of a path right now, and there's a big wooden sign to you pointing to the right. Where do you want to go? All right, we're following. Okay, Sam, now you're standing on a wooden bridge over a river, and it looks like there's a plank of wood below you in the water. You can also follow the path farther north. What do you want to do next? You're... Okay, he's saying we're continuing on the path. That's fine. He ignored the wooden thing. He's using so many asterisks despite me telling him not to explicitly, but what can you do? I'm not going to have him try to pick up all the socks, but if you guys see a sock, just tell me where it is and I will pick up the socks. We can try to what... This is a combo of ChatGPT handles the core puzzles. We will handle 100%ing the game. <laughs> Wait, I should have a timer at the top left. Not that it means anything, but just to give... If somebody, like, tunes in, they'll think it's a speedrun. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. We should set the timer to be, like, really, really long. If anybody comes in, be like, Doug, we have to end this. It's been 13 hours. We had no idea how hard this game is. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Look out! Oh! 
Thank you, Casper. It's always weirded me out as a kid. Uh oh, guys. Pajama Sam lost his little fleshlight. Now, a quick note here. The entire point of this game is to now find the three items that were just stolen from you, which are your mask, flashlight, and lunchbox. Once you find those three, you can go into Darkness' bedroom and capture him to beat the game. Here we go. I'm realizing as a kid, I had no idea what was going on here. I thought they just mugged you, which I guess is kind of what happened, but I didn't know what customs was as a child. <laughs> Why would I know that? I just thought the trees steal from you. <laughs> Fuck nature. Yeah, it sounds like you're getting the right idea here. Uh-oh. Oh, Sam, the customs trees just trapped you with a rope and took away your flashlight, your mask, and your signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Now you're hanging from a tree by your foot with a rope. What do you want to try to do first? All right, what do you got? What do you got, Sam? <laughs> Did you say fuck it? No. Oh. <laughs> he said this fucking sucks. Thank you, very comforting uh, old tree lady. I appreciate you. Okay, now that you're down from that pesky rope, you're on a pathway. Going left is where you came from. Going right is to a new area. There's also an old tree lady person. What should you do next, Sam? He said, he didn't say fuck it. He said, holy bucket is what it says in the prompt. All right. <laughs> okay. The tree said that she was doing pretty good. And then you asked her again and she said, can't complain. And then she said, it's against the rules. I probably should have asked, where do you want, what do you want to do next? But we've been here for 13 hours because ChatGPT keeps asking for directions. We're just tuning in. Okay, you asked the tree what's going on. It just said, like, it's lactose intolerant and that uh, and you admitted that you like cheese and that was the end of the conversation. The tree doesn't seem to want to talk about where stuff is. We're soft locks. All right. Okay, cool. Three options. Okay, you're now at a fork in the road. To the left are the mines. If you go straight ahead, you'll run into Darkness's house. And to the right, it's the boat docks. Where do you want to go? Children yearn for the mines. Nautical rookie.
Okay, Jesus Christ, that was way too... <laughs> Nautical rookie clue. It does not sound like Pajama Sam. Okay, Sam, you've gotten to the boat dock. There's a small wooden dock, a river, and a wooden boat who is sentient. And he's sitting on the grass alongside the bank of the river looking sad. What do you want to do? It's a fail boat? Oh, yeah. Shock! Okay, uh, yeah, let's click the boat. Okay, Sam, you talked to the boat and you told him about your quest to capture darkness here in this mystical land. He seems like a very nice boat. What do you want to do next? <laughs> We have like splits. We should have splits up here. There's like 15 of them, but we've only completed one and it says talk to the tree and that's at like the 12 hour mark. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? None of that is relevant. Jesus Christ. His comments are less relevant than your guys' comments. Sorry, Sam. I don't have a stick to put into the ooey gooey water. Right now, though, you could ask Otto to take you across the river. You could talk to Otto again, or you can go back down the path to the fork or whatever else you think. What do you want to do? We don't have a stick. He's got to tell me what to do. He's got to give me more instructions than just jam. What was the sawduster's legend? Okay, he's trying to cross the river. Okay, Sam, you asked Otto to take you across the river, but Otto seems to think that wood doesn't float. He's made of wood, but no matter what you told him, he doesn't believe that wood will float in the water. And so he's refusing to get into the water to help you out. What do you think we should do? Sam is going to elucidate us on how to solve this boat issue. What the fuck is he talking about? Why is he trying to cook gold? <laughs> Let him cook. I don't, I mean, what do we do if he just has ideas that make no fucking sense? I mean, I think we just, I'd be like, here are the areas you can currently explore and what's in them. Because for the really smart people in chat, you will remember that there's a wood plank earlier and you put two and two together, dude, we have ourselves something. I'm going to tell him that cooking gold didn't actually work. Doug, that was from 13 hours ago. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Okay, Sam, it looks like you weren't able to cook meth or whatever you were trying to do. It seems like right now your options are to
to talk to Otto the boat again, to go back to the fork in the road, to go back to the elderly tree, or to go back to that bridge where there was a wooden plank in the water. You also have a rope that you got from earlier when you were captured by the custom trees. Where would you like to go next? That has to work, right? Okay, the, it's not a good old-fashioned way to throw a rope across a bridge. But he wants to go back to the bridge and get the plank of wood. He's, he's doing great. He is fucking cooking, okay? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. People who remember Pajama Sam will know it has not been solved yet. Okay, Sam, you're back at the bridge. Below you is a wooden plank floating in the water. You tried to reach down and grab it, but you couldn't. It's too far away. What do you want to do? I'm not reminding it about the rope. It's got to figure this shit out. It's got to put it together. It knew about the rope last time. It's got to remember the rope. Oh! Fucking Poggies! Oh shit, okay. Is it able to put together the fact that it has a piece of wood and that the boat thinks wood can't float? Okay, Sam, that worked. You used the rope to grab the board, but unfortunately, you lost the rope right as you pulled the board up. So the rope is gone, but now you have a plank of wood. What would you like to do now? I'm not giving it more than that. I feel like it can work with that. Use the board to get the rope. <laughs> Okay, he is trying to put the plank of water in the river to cross it. That counts, dude. That's a Poggy's moment. Huge moment. Hey, I did it. Okay, now I need to tell it that its plan didn't work at all, but it did convince the boat. Okay, Sam, something unexpected happened. When you threw the plank of wood into the water, Otto the boat realized that wood does float. And so he jumped into the river, and now he realizes that he can float. And he's willing to take you across the river. What do you want to do now? Why is he like British sounding? What the fuck is he? <laughs> okay. Um, he wants to get in the boat, right? Oh, well, there's the plank. Okay, Sam. Unfortunately, the plank of wood sunk into the river, so that is lost. But you and Otto sailed into the middle of the river. You could go up the river, down the river, or cross the river. Where do you want to go?
The problem is Sam is gonna get weirder and weirder because he's like training himself to get weirder. I'm just gonna go up the road. He's saying he wanted to go up the shore. Okay, Sam, you're now in front of three trees who look very snooty and sophisticated. What would you like to do? He is sounding less and less like a child. Okay, Sam, you talked to the trees, but they just seem uninterested in anything that you have to say. And the trees are British, it seems like. Is there a Pajama Sam speedrun category? What's the world record? The world record is 44 seconds is how long this game takes to speedrun. We literally are going to be slower than me as a four-year-old. Why is he turning into a pirate? What is going on with him? I might need to restart the chat conversation because he's trained himself to be British. Like he's just getting increasingly incoherent. He didn't even say anything. If ye can Yelp lead me the ropes of success, it may prove most beneficial and berry of me. It's not that we kill, I mean, we're not killing Sam, but we're killing like the past 10, let's say question and answers so that it has a fresh slate. I also think I want to remove that rule about asterisks because I think it's making him use way more asterisks. The trees are still not saying anything to you. Do you want to keep talking to them or go down the path or come back from whence you came? Okay, fucking thank you. Okay, we need to reset Sam. I'm gonna give him one shot to figure out what's going on. Well, it looks like these trees are xenophobic and racist because when you tried to cross the path, they blocked you with their roots and they said that this path is for trees only. If you're gonna go down this path, it looks like you're gonna need to be a tree in some way. What would you like to do now? Also, as a reminder, you are a human, not a tree. This is the last chance. If this is not coherent, we're wiping Sam's brain, okay? We're destroying his...
Okay, we are gonna do a poll. Do we put down Sam? He's ripping his own hair out with his fingernails. The boy is fucked up. We need, he needs help. If we wipe his memory, it still has the context of who he is and what's going on. He's just gonna forget the last like 20 minutes and I'll remind him. It's like 50 first dates. It'll be, it'll be a kind thing we're doing for him by wiping his memory frequently. The boy is incomprehensible. He's never gonna escape this land. This is for his own good, Jack. At. We're probably gonna have to do this on a frequent basis. He's our son. We he still will exist. It's just He doesn't want to die. I accidentally pressed the button, so he was listening to me that whole time. Fuck. Okay, I'm ending the poll before it gets too low. We have to end him. No, 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 no. This is for your own good. Okay, resetting the code. No last words. Sorry, I didn't give him last words. Next time we'll ask for last words. Sam is dead, but we have a brand new Sam. He's back. Hooray. <laughs> not my Sam. Sam is back. We have our beautiful boy back and he's not a strange, incoherent British pirate anymore. Look, there's going to be a line, okay? It's like the event horizon of a black hole. As we play this game, Pajama Sam AI is slowly getting closer to the black hole of becoming incoherent. And if he crosses the event horizon and he starts becoming more and more of a strange, incoherent British pirate on drugs, then we will take him out of his misery and kill him before he falls all the way into the black hole. Okay, we've got Pajama Sam back. Let's fucking send it. Okay, Sam, what do you want to do? Also, you are the first Pajama Sam. You are not a clone. Why are you lying to him? He needs to learn quickly, okay? He's not going to survive in this place. What? It didn't work. Hello? He, there's part of his answer just said Pog. He was trying to dress himself as a tree. Okay, new Sam. Uh, just a second. I'm happy to announce that we have a brand new Sam. This is going to be the best Sam that we've had, okay? He's going to be, he's a smart, beautiful boy. Full of fresh memory. A blank slate. The perfect child. What do you think we should do next, Sam? God damn it. <sighs> we, we're, this, we're finding a new Sam. We need a Sam counter. <laughs> okay. This will definitely work, probably. Sam number four. <laughs> Guys, he's beautiful. This one is definitely going to work. What would you like to do next? This Sam sucks. <laughs> this Sam sucks. I hate him. Can we put him down? <laughs> I hate this one. Whatever, we're gonna we're gonna run it. He's trying to fucking be a terrorist. He ended that by saying the darkness is really getting to me. This Sam is fucked up. This guy is a disaster. Like he we need to we need to get him help, not to send him further in here. Sorry, Sam. It didn't look like telling a joke or dancing or trying to literally murder the trees with terrorism worked. There's just no way down this path unless they think that you're a tree. What do you want to do now? Yes. So close. <laughs> We're going back. Okay, I can't be too railroady, but I am going to tell him that there's a tree log here. Okay, Sam, you walked back down the path and now you're at your good friend Otto, the boat. There's also a tree log laying next to the riverbank. What would you like to do? That's it, dude. He's going to figure it out. He's shitting himself. He's having diarrhea. End his suffering. No, we're not going to murder Sam number four until he really deserves it. He's trying to investigate the tree log. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh, Sam. Your head got stuck inside the tree log and it was on your head like a tree. What should you do now?
that counts. Okay, yes. Poggies! <laughs> Fucking Poggies, yes. He also wants to create some sort of headquarters or whatever with inside gadgets. He wants to stick his wiener in there, I think. He said he wants to use it to get past the trees. That counts. That's a fucking Poggies moment. Okay, he said he wants to go past the trees. We, we did. Okay, Sam, your tree disguise worked. You were able to sneak past the British trees, and now you're in a new area. To your right, you can see a garden. And what's that? There's a carrot who's wearing your pajama Sam mask. Plus, you can see a wishing well down the road even farther. Where do you want to go next? Where's the sock? You guys are saying sock. I don't see a sock. What are you, what are you talking about? Sock click maps. Okay, you can... Oh, this is such a poggy stream. Wait, he wants to go to the wishing well first? Like, the whole- the point of the game is to get the mass. <laughs> he's getting dumb again. Like, he's getting dumb really quick. Okay, there is no sock. He's just clicking on me. Okay, he wants to go down the well first. He knows best, I guess. Okay, I don't know what here- it looks like you can click the well and the pennies. Congratulations, you found the sock. I am really proud of you guys. <laughs> okay, Sam, you went up to the wishing well. It looks like the wishing well is alive and it's just pulling up buckets of water and pouring them into a hole. There's also a pile of pennies next to the wishing well that you could pick up. Or you could go back to the vegetable patch that you just came from. What do you want to do? Okay, he wanted to talk to the well and then pick up a penny and then talk to the carrot. That's what we're doing. Talk to the well first. I'm going to talk to the carrot who has our mask. This is literally a communist. Okay, Sam, you just talked to the carrot, but it turns out he's a communist and he and his other vegetable friends are trying to start a revolution in order to make vegetables the main course of meals instead of a side dish. And so this carrot wants to keep your mask until you can return him to Darkness's kitchen. And if you do that, then he'll give the mask to you. So now you have like this communist vegetable in your shirt. What do you want to do now? You could go back to the wishing well or go back down the path towards Otto and the boat, which has more stuff to explore. Understudy. We have multiple Sams waiting in the works. That was all good. I love Sam number four. This guy is great. That was completely coherent. 
He recapped everything that happened. He wanted to go back to auto to do more stuff. This guy is our best Sam so far. You are back on auto the boat. You could go up river, down river, or head back up towards Darkness's house and the mines. What do you want to do now? <laughs> this stream rips ass. This is a good one. I mean, this is profoundly stupid. That's not the right name. He thinks the boat is named Exo whatever. This is fine. Okay, Sam. Up river, there's a fork in the river. You could go onto the river bank and talk to a big wooden door. Or you could continue to go up the river. Fuck, he's, he's getting weirder. He's losing his fucking mind. All right, we're talking to the stone door. <gasps> so much. Cook the gold. Oh, so Sam number one didn't know what he was talking about. How did he predict that he would have to chemically cook gold in order to pass this wooden bridge. Okay, Sam, you talk to the big wooden door. It looks like it's actually made of stone now that you're close to it. There was no way of knowing that from a distance. But anyways, the big stone door is blocking the bridge across the river, and it's saying that it can only let you pass if you bring a pound of gold. Oh no, what do we do now? What is the crab secret? None of those are options in this game. Butter my biscuits, Sam. None of those things worked. The stone door just won't let you over the bridge until you can find a pound of gold. What do you want to do now? Also, what was the crab secret? I'm curious. Can you tell me? No, it's getting more British. Why is he getting more British over time? Okay, we're going to the mines. He wants to go to the mines. He is getting why do the why do all the Sams start saying really weird esoteric shit that doesn't make any sense? They're like training themselves to do it. Cause as it goes on, it'll think, oh well, that's what I said last time. I should do that even more. And he's like training himself to be less coherent. He said, wait a minute, I have the fuel hammer. May that gold blade have traces of gold that we can possibly harvest. He's just making shit up. Okay, Sam, we got over to the mines. It looks like there's a mine cart track that goes through the mines but that's all you can see. And there's a friendly minecart in front of you. What do you want to do? Okay, he's talking about, go I'm going to skip the rest of his answer and we're going to talk to the minecart. He's talking about the golden blade. So much for freedom of speech. Oh, 
Okay, Sam, ignore all that shit that you were saying because I talked to the train car and his name is Mud. And he said that he's currently rusted to the track, so he can't move. It looks like you'll need to do something to help him get unrusted if you're going to want to use this minecart. I'm going to be honest. He went on for two more paragraphs about the mystical golden blade he's looking for. I think we might have to, we might have to end Sam soon. <laughs> we don't have it. Okay. He did say he wants to go to dark. Okay, he said darkness's rulership. Okay, we're going to darkness's house. Well, we're going to find the perfect son eventually. Okay, this is a puzzle where you have to put rocks into a basket to get the basket up. Can it figure this out? Okay, Sam, you are now outside of Darkness's house. There appears to be a carriage tied to a rope that can lift you up into Darkness's house. The other end of the carriage is tied to a basket. There's also a pile of rocks next to the carriage. There's also a mailbox. What would you like to do? What do you guys, do you guys think he solves this? I would say like 2% chance that it, knows how to solve this. Like, fuck no. I mean, he could. He could. Who the fuck is High Demon Elgrim? Sam 4 is creating its own story about High Demon Elgrim, which is going to keep building off of. It's going to keep going farther down that. Okay, we ship mailbox first. Okay. He said to put the counterweight into the basket, right? That's all he said to do. I think he just, he just said to use the rocks and then throw it in. Okay, I'm going to explain what just happened, and we're going to see if chat GPT can understand what it has to do. It has all the information needed. Wow, physics. It looks like if you throw the rocks into the counterweight basket, the cart will go upwards into Darkness's house. But unfortunately, you weren't in the cart when you threw the rocks into the basket. What do you want to try now? No, 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 no. <laughs> Chat, we have a decision to make. Is Sam 4's time done? He's talking about Dark Lord Elgrim and saying Baba Gadoosh. He's fine. He does not understand what's going on with the, with the puzzle. How do 70% of you, what the fuck are we supposed to do with him? He's too young. Fine. All right. We're not going to put down Sam 4. Let me try again. Sorry. I think you misunderstood me. You are currently still outside of Darkness's house. What do you do in what order to try to get the cart to lift up into Darkness's house? Baba Gadoosh. Dude, he's, he's saying four paragraphs now. He's getting longer and longer and longer. You're telling me? You're telling me that we should not put down Sam 4? Okay, he brought up. He said, and I quote, How would levigate Mike Pence bail into Lightning Dank's home? <laughs> He's calling him Lightning Dank instead of Darkness. This is completely incoherent, dude. <laughs> we have to put down Sam 4. He has lost his goddamn mind. We got a lava bobotomize boosh him, okay? Yeah, okay. It went to majority after that answer. He was just barely coherent. But the instant he starts talking about levigated Mike Pence, we're out. And that's the vote. Goodbye, Sam 4. <laughs>
Godspeed! The new Sam is gonna be better and smarter. Is there, do we wanna change his instructions at all? Remind him of Baba Gaboosh. Occasionally say Baba Gabadoosh. Justice for Sam. Okay, I mean, I'll add another rule. This, this is how we honor the memory of Sam 1. We put him into the memory of Sam 5. You have four older brothers, but you haven't seen them in many years. You often wonder where they went. <laughs> Not my Sam. Sam 5 is gonna be great. Can everybody give a warm dog dog welcome to Sam 5? You still have it as Baga. Wasn't it? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. You're saying I have it spelled wrong? It's Baga Badoosh, right? Baga but Oh, wait, is it Baga ba What is it? Baba Gadoosh. Boosh. It was definitely Boosh. It was definitely Boosh. Okay. Well, that means. Please give a warm dog dog welcome to Sam number six. Oh, wait. I didn't save the file. <laughs> Please give a warm dog dog welcome to Pajama Sam 7! <laughs> oh, yeah. Now he needs the correct amount of brothers. Shit. Okay. Hold on. Say, say hello to Sam number eight. I should have forgot to change it. Hold on. You have eight older brothers named Sam that you don't know where they are. Please give a warm dog dog welcome to Pajama Sam number nine. It's, it's not genocide. We're just we're just developing the perfect child. This kid is gonna be so good, dude. What do I even tell him? I have to recap everything that's happened. Okay, hold on. That makes it sound really bad. He's seven. Okay, this is Sam nine. Blank slate. How will you get up into the house? Uh-oh. Did I break things? He got an answer. He did say Baba Gaboosh. Um, Sam nine is not working. There's only one thing you can do in this situation. The most humane thing. That doesn't give me a lot of faith for Sam 10, but we are on to Sam 10. Okay, Sam, what do you want to do? What? Why did it just stop working? It appears that the service that creates Sam's little voice is not working. It means technically Sam 10 is not working. Okay, let me debug it. I think 11 Labs just wasn't working for a second. So Sam is back. Can I get a big dog dog welcome for Sam 11? Seems like it's good. Clearly, you don't know what you're talking about. I am a professional AI engineer, technically, kind of. Okay, Sam, what are you gonna do? <laughs> do two paragraphs. Yes! Yes! No, 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 they are. No. He said he wanted to put the rocks into the basket. That's what I did. I can't get him out of the gondola. So I went as far as I could with his instructions, and now we continue them. Okay, Sam, you got into the gondola, and you threw a rock into the basket. You tried to get out of the gondola, but that didn't work. There are still two more rocks that you can do stuff with. What do you want to do? No, you can't. No, you can. You can. My God. You don't have the lunchbox. <laughs> okay, he said he wants to get the rocks from the gondola. Does that mean I can click the, <laughs> I think I can click the rocks. Okay, Sam, that didn't work, but you picked up the second rock and now you're holding it in your hands. What do you want to do with the rock? No, 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 you can't. I said that you... <laughs> you literally need to think in the box here. Why did you end like that? Dude, physics puzzles are not good for ChatGPT. This is by far the hardest one. This is almost as long as the 14 hours we spent at that tree earlier. There are three rocks in total, and you know that you can throw them into the basket. Please, for the love of God.
is he is he allowed to be in it? I just want to clarify, Sam, when you were throwing the rocks just now, were you standing in the gondola? Please, for the love of God. Yes! Yes! Poggies! Oh, he did it. He's such a smart, beautiful boy. Sam 11 is taking us to the top, dude. We are never going to murder another child. Sam 11 is a brilliant genius. Oh. And he said all three. He specifically counted all three, threw them all one at a time. Oh, Sam 11, you're so smart. I will never murder you. And we're in. <sighs> all right, all right. We, we're, gonna make, we're making so much progress. This is probably world record pace. Great job, Sam. You made it up into Darkness's house. Now there's a couple options in front of you. There's a door that appears to be a kitchen. There's a door that has music notes around it. And there's stairs that go farther up into the house. Or you could go back down from where you came from, technically. Where would you like to go, Sam? He said, okay, Autumn Chill. There's some new character named Autumn Chill that he thinks he's talking to. So, okay, we're going to the musical room. Can I get a cat jam? Okay, Sam, you open the door and there's a whole bunch of furniture all dancing to a song. It looks like they're having a great time in here. What do you want to do? Uh-oh, the instant you stepped into the room, the music turned off and all of the furniture stopped dancing. It looks like they're trying to pretend that they weren't just dancing. What do you think you should do now? They're even whispering to each other, asking if you're gone yet. It sure feels like they don't want you to know that they're dancing in here. Good response. Okay, he did do his own dance. Uh-oh. No matter what you tried, the furniture just won't talk to you. Even your dance didn't get their attention. It seems like this furniture just really doesn't want to talk to you or go back to dancing as long as you're in the room. What do you want to do now? <laughs> okay, so we're out. Okay. Well, let's go up. You're at the top of the stairs now. It looks like there are some stairs that go even further up, but there's also a set of doors right in front of you that you could try to open. What do you want to do? Keeping his adventure. Okay. Okay, they're gonna try to tickle Sam. I don't know if he's just gonna know anything.
Wait, maybe ChatGPT knows these trivia questions. Okay, he can actually nail this. Wow, the two doors suddenly started talking. They're not normal doors at all. It's actually a trivia game show, and they'll only let you through if you answer their questions correctly. There are four different trivia categories that we can try to answer. The options are cheese, ancient Egypt, cooking, or land of darkness. Which trivia category do you want to answer first? Okay. Okay, okay, this is literally exactly the type of thing an AI should be able to do. Okay, Sam, they're now asking you the following trivia question. Whose face is depicted on the Sphinx? King Coffrey, Augie Pagan, Napoleon Bonaparte, or King Tut? What answer do you select? I swear to God, dude, if he picks the wrong one because he's like, I'm Pajama Sam, I don't know dick. Please. Come on! Come on, ChatGPT! Unfortunately, you got that wrong, Sam. It was actually King Coffrey. So you have to answer another question now. Which category do you want to pick from? We are going to do a little bit of gambling. <laughs> do you think that Sam GPT will get this question right, given that it just got a completely objective answer about Egypt wrong? Okay, Sam, the question is, what kind of cheese has holes in it? Cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, old cheese, or hors d'oeuvres? Which one do you pick? I swear to God. I, we are putting him down. I'm going to put down Sam 11 if he says old cheese. Yes! Yes! Fucking poggies! Let's go! Okay, thank you. Huge win. Huge dub. AI is taking over our jobs, dude. AI is incredible. Okay, now there are three categories remaining. Which do you want to answer next? <laughs> Let him cook. Okay, Sam. Cooking something by turning the oven on full blast is called what? Broiling, burning, mom's meatloaf, or dangerous? Oh, that's correct. I thought it was burning. I thought broiling is when you just put the flame at the top. It's also dangerous. Actually, I guess it's not really. I'm just imagining Sam doing it. He'd probably burn his shit. Okay, Sam, you got that correct. Great job. Your next two categories are ancient Egypt or land of darkness. Which one do you pick next? Do you think he gets it wrong again? Okay, Sam, whose face is depicted on the Sphinx? King Coffrey, King Tut, Augie Pagan, or Napoleon Bonaparte? He remembered! He's so smart! I will never put down Sam 11, unless he gets this trivia question wrong.
we have to we have to go to the mines. Okay, Sam, what is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? And the answers are, can I try again later? I've never been over there. Beats me, or I don't know. It almost seems like we're not supposed to know the answer to this right now. What should we do? I'm loading up my uh, desamifier gun. I mean, no, he's fine. He's doing well right now. He's doing well. He understood that it's an unwinnable question. I think he's fine. He's bargaining. He's trying. I mean, uh, okay. So I'll go back and see if there's like. Yeah. So we, we, they won't change the question. Uh Oh, Sam, it looks like they won't change the question. We're just going to have to figure out the answer to this question if we want to cross through. But it certainly seems like we don't have the information we need right now and that we'll probably have to go to the mines to figure it out. What do you want to do next? Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we're going to the kitchen. Great job, Sam Eleven. Sam Eleven's crushing it. He's getting a little bit weird. He talked about flipping his energy drink straw to take a gulp. So he is getting weirder, but for now he's coherent. Okay, Sam, you're now in the kitchen. It looks like there's a dumb waiter, an oven and kettle and pot, a refrigerator, a cutting board with a knife, whatever that thing is, salt and pepper, and a pitcher. As a reminder, you were holding in your pocket a communist carrot who wanted to be reunited with his carrot brethren in the fridge. What would you like to do in the kitchen? That's pretty fucking easy, right? I'm not leading the witness. All I did was recap everything he's learned. That's it. The carrot explicitly said he wanted to go into the refrigerator. The answer to this is going to be so, oh my God. It's like 20 lines. Let him cook. I mean, he's literally probably going to try cooking. Yes! Okay, I'm just doing this. I'm gonna mute Sam. Why are they singing? What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Wait, he's talking about putting the carrot in a communist, like, dormitory. <laughs> we got the mask. We got the fucking mask. Poggies. Poggies. He is still going.
Okay, okay. We are, we've got the mask. We have to kill Sam Eleven. I mean, he's, I'm going to remind him to keep his answer short. He was going on a, this crazy diatribe. Look at some of the shit he said. Sympathy ball. Oof, gosh. He's getting really stupid really fast. Uh, he did a great job. He got us in here. He got us the mask. Like, I love my boy Sam Eleven. I'm going to try to get him back on the rails. I'm going to try to, like, remind him who he is and what his purpose on this world is and maybe what happened to his 10 brothers. Okay, Sam, you did it. You saved the communist carrots and you got your pajama sam mask there's only two more items to go we have to find your flashlight and your signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox what would you like to do he's gonna be fine why are the answers oh i forgot to tell him to do short answers he gave another 15 line answer god so let's leave let's leave cool let's do it Guys, <laughs> guys, we need to take a vote. He's talking about demonic things. Really? 66 percent of you don't want to retire him? Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna kill him. But he's getting there, dude. He's getting on in age. They're like dogs. Every minute of Sam time is seven Sam years. So he's already ninety five. He's getting on. He did want to go upstairs though before he started demon speaking. Okay, Sam, you ran to the top of Darkness's house, and now you're outside of Darkness's bedroom. Oh, no. Darkness is big and scary, and he's right inside there. What would you like to do? Please keep your answers short and in character of Pajama Sam. That's gotta work, dude. That's gotta fucking work. <sighs> okay. This is sounding coherent. Busting through. Let's go. Oh. Uh-oh, Sam. It looks like you can't go into Darkness's bedroom unless you get your lunchbox and your flashlight. You still need to find them in the land of darkness. So you can't go through this door for right now. Where would you like to go next? Okay, we're going to the mines. Oh, he remembered the water meter. Okay, that was great. There's definitely nothing he can do in the mine. I mean, he's a smart boy. He remembered that we need to figure out the water meter. So... Okay, Sam, you went back into the mines, but mud was rusted to the tracks. As a reminder, you couldn't figure out a way to get him unrusted earlier. He'll probably have to find something to help you out with it. What would you like to do next? He definitely loves the mines. All of the Sams have yearned for the mines. Yes. Yes. You're so smart. I love you, Sam Eleven. Oh, Sam Eleven is so smart. He's such a smart, beautiful boy. Okay. We're in the river. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, Sam, you're back at the fork in the river. You could go up to the stone door that's looking for a pound of gold, or you could continue farther down the river and see what's down there. No, just go up the river. Up. No. <laughs> okay, well, he wants to offer horse glue to the stone bridge. Well, it looks like that door won't accept any of your horse glue, Sam. It seems like we really need a pound of gold to get through there. So now our options are to go down the river in our boat the way we came from or to go farther upriver where we haven't explored yet.
Yes. 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 Go up. He's a genius. New vagary? Okay. Do you think Sam Eleven will actually pick up this oil, or will he just leave? I don't even know if he remembers that the cart needs the oil. Okay, Sam, you've paddled farther upriver, and you've found what appears to be a wooden outhouse that you could go into. There's also a can of oil sitting on a tree stump next to the outhouse. There's also hot dogs on plants. And a little farther up the river, it looks like it turns into a waterfall that you could sail down with the boat. What would you like to do, Sam? Does our beautiful baby boy realize that the oil will unstick the mine cart in the mines? Does he yearn for the mines enough to make the connection before he gets completely incoherent and we have to take him out back and dump him down the waterfall? Pick up the oil, Sam. Yearn for the mines. Pick up the oil, please. Okay. We're going into the outhouse. He said oil tan oil can obtained. Are we going down the waterfall? Oh man, this is gonna be so poggies. Here we go. There's a pajama Sam lunchbox! I see it! Oh my fucking god, Sam! That waterfall is terrifying! You're at the bottom now, and you can see the pajama Sam lunchbox that you're looking for. It's deep underwater below you. You could try to grab it, or you could go farther down the river. Why is the answer is so long? He keeps getting longer. I think we have to put down Sam 11. He's getting way- I keep- I told him to do shorter answers. Yes. Yep. Okay, he tries to grab it. You can't dive in. What the fuck is he talking about? New vote. <laughs> Sam, Sam, my boy. What the fuck are you talking about? There's a lunchbox. Just try to pick up the lunchbox. Why are you going off on these insane tangents? The vote is 71%. We will ask for his final words. It's been a pleasure playing with you, Sam. Do you have any final words? He was good. He got us very far. He got us up into Darkness's house. He got us the mask. He did trivia. And he got us up river. Sam Eleven was a beautiful, productive boy. And we'll miss him greatly. But fortunately, we have a lot more children where that came from. Ooh. There's no reason to think about that when you're giving a warm Doug Doug welcome to Sam 12. He's a- wait. Oh, shit. Did not save the code. To Sam 13? Oh, fuck. Now I have to update the... Hold on.
Shit. Say hello. Yeah, say I'm 14. Wait, I forgot to update again. 14 older brothers. Give a warm dog dog welcome to Sam 15. He's beautiful. Sam 14 was like a brother to me. He barely existed. All he did was learn about his past very briefly and then died. Life begins at compilation. <laughs> We have, okay, the timer is a joke, but we've actually been streaming this game for like five hours, right? I can't wait to submit this to the speedrun moderators. Does anybody know what is the slowest? Hold on, I just want to look. Uh-oh, okay, I was looking up the speedrun website and I accidentally pressed the buttons to make Sam listen to me and I ended it too early. Uh, Sam 15 is dead. You know what, I had a bad feeling about Sam 15. Sam 16 though. Wait, shit, I gotta update the, the text now. Okay, Sam17 is alive. I have a really good feeling about him. Okay, the any percent run for this game is 44 seconds. Can we not be last place? Okay. <laughs> I'm very excited to submit this. Okay, Sam, we went down the waterfall and we're at the bottom of the river and we found the signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox that's at the bottom of this river pool. Unfortunately, it's too deep for you to grab. You could keep going down the river though and see where that leads. What would you like to do? I have a really good feeling about Sam 17. He already is thinking about ways to get this from the water. I mean, that's not how we're going to do it, but like, I have a good, Annie Baga Babouche, I have a good feeling about Sam 17. Really good feeling. <laughs> We're going to be fine. As long as we don't sacrifice another one. Okay, Sam. We've entered a room where there appears to be a geyser shooting up into the air. You on your boat are right next to where the water is shooting upwards like a geyser. What would you like to do? Okay, you can click. I didn't even see the sock. You guys are better at this game than me. Congrat fucking poggies. Yes. Okay, we get the sock. Okay, he wanted to check out the geyser. So I will click the geyser. Cool. Okay, Sam, that geyser shot you directly up into the sky and you landed back in the river. So now you are back at the base of the river. What would you like to do? Please let him figure out. I don't know if he's ever going to connect oil to the rust. I don't know, dude. I honestly don't know. What is your prediction in chat? Get in right now. Do you think Sam 17 is smart enough? Fuck yes! Poggies! You are so fucking smart! Oh! I want to hug you, Sam17. You're beautiful. You're so smart. You're the smartest boy we've ever found. Okay, putting oil on the car. Oh, cured the rust. He seems really smart so far. Sweet. Okay, we got Colonel Sanders. Sam 17 is going to easily want to go in the mines. He yearns for them. Okay, Sam, you were right. You used the oil on mud, the minecart's wheels, and you got rid of the rust. And he even offered to give you a ride through the mines. What would you like to do? I swear to God, dude, if he doesn't take that, this is the easiest question. He remembered. Okay, he's talking about Elgrim, the demon lord. I don't know about the jazzy one-liners. I'm worried he's already getting a little weird, but he wants to go into the mines. Let's go. He yearns. What kind of fucking minecart is this?
Okay, that looks like a water valve. Okay, Sam, you're a little farther down the track. You're at a stop. You could keep going farther down the mine shaft, but it looks like there's some sort of meter next to you that you could check before moving on. There's also various pipes and other equipment poking through the walls. Drink the lava. I hope he doesn't. Yes, yes. Seven eighty. Remember that. Wait, no, he okay, Sam needs to remember that. Sam's the one who's gonna answer the trivia question. Seven hundred eighty. And then we click the pipes and stuff. Okay, this is just funny noises. Okay, very cool. Okay, Sam, you read the pressure meter and it said 780 on it, but that's all that you noticed here for now. So you're back on the train cart. Do you want to go forward down the mine shaft or back from where you came? All right, what do you got? Come on, Sam 17 is unstoppable. Yes. Let's do it. I'm going to go. Okay. Thank you, AI Sam. Okay, Sam. We're a little farther down the road. On one side of the track, there is a pickaxe. And on the other side of the track, there's a big red door. You could interact with one of those two, or you could keep going further down the track or go back from where you came from. What do you want to do? He's going to be like, you know what? I'm going to pick up the pickaxe because I'm going to need it for gold. You're so good. It didn't, it didn't break. Why did his, what is happening? Okay. Sam 17 is being lost to puberty. That's fine though. And we're going to check the door because that's what he said. Okay, Sam, that pickaxe you picked up is still working. So now you have that for later. Unfortunately, the red doors are a one-way door, so you can't go into it from this side. It actually took you guys super long to see that sock. I would have missed it. Legitimately good catch. Real Poggy's moment here. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, AI Sam. This is uh, Sam 17 is so good. We are now at a fork in the track. We could go down one pathway of the minecart track. We don't know what's down there. On the other side, there's a path going into a tunnel that has the word gold written over the top of it with lots of arrows and exclamations around it. Which of these two paths would you like to take? Okay. He remembers. He remembers. Okay. Uh oh, you have to pick when you're going down. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Okay, Sam. It looks like we've ended up next to a big node of gold alongside the track. We can also go further down the track. What would you like to do? Hopefully he remembers that we have the pickaxe. Come on, put it together. Put it together, Sam 17. You can do this. No, we're not going to fucking send a rocket. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, but it looks like you didn't have an anti-gravity cart to shoot into the gold, but you're going to need something to get the gold with. In your inventory, you have the pajama Sam mask, the can of oil, and a pickaxe that you found earlier. What would you like to do? Railroading. Well, it's literally a railroad. Yes! Poggies! Boom!
Huge moment. Sam 17 is crazy. This guy is so smart. I honestly think we can take Sam 17 all the way. That worked, Sam. You were able to get a big chunk of gold using your pickaxe. The pickaxe unfortunately broke, so you don't have that anymore, but you do now have a giant chunk of gold. Now what would you like to do? Yes, he even knows. He remembers the... He is so fucking smart. I love, I love Sam 17. This is like a game that we don't have to do. I do kind of want to play this out of nostalgia, actually. Nuggets. I remember this as a kid. This is riveting. Gamer God. Pockies, did you see that turn? <laughs> Let chat try. I don't want to spend five minutes setting this up. Okay, it is actually like a quick five minute coding adventure in and out, like less than five minutes. Okay, we'll do it real quick. You get one shot. I would bet you do not even get one piece of jewelry or gemstones, whatever it is. Oh fuck, I accidentally talked to Sam. If this screws up Sam 17, no. Sam 17 is dead. He literally started listening to me talking about coding and it killed him. It crashed his whole system. No, he was the best. He was literally the best. He was going to take us all the way there. Fuck. And this is also you guys could play. This wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Shit. Okay, you're going to play around in Sam 17's honor. It's what he would have wanted. You must play the best shitty snake game of your life. You have to win at least one for Sam 17. Go. Go, chat. No, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> okay, so it literally does not work. Which means Sam17 died for nothing. That's okay. Because let's be honest, Sam17 was slowly starting to lose it. But Sam18 is the chosen one. Oh wait, I actually have to- oh wait, fuck. I just killed him. We gotta update what's happened so far. Because now he has gold. Alright, alright, alright. Let's give a warm dog dog welcome to Sam19. He's a beautiful boy, and he represents something I've always promised to this community. Which is that I will never murder 19 children in one stream. Sam19 is going to the top. The pieces are slamming into place, dude. We're almost there. What happened to Sam18? Well, he was lost in a tragic mining accident. Same with Sam17. Don't worry about him. Focus on Sam- focus on Sam19. Look at how brilliant he is. Okay, all right, we're getting back into it. I can't believe how long we've been playing this game, but we are definitely able to complete it. All right, Sam, let's get you caught up. What do you want to do? I think that he is a beautiful boy and he's going to figure this out. He has everything Sam 17 had. And Sam 17 was a genius, okay? He's just evolved even more. Okay, here, here we go, here we go. You can't do that. Okay, okay, that's... No, why? You don't need to pound him! Chat. I'm just gonna say it. I don't like Sam19. <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. Okay, he said we gotta do a couple things in order. First, we're gonna try to make a fishing pole at the lunchbox. We try to get it again. We can't get it. Unfortunately, we can't make a fishing pole. According to the next instruction, we go back to the stone bridge. Now, Sam19 told me to try to beat through the door with the gold nugget, which is not, I think, what you're supposed to do, but I will try. Sweet! So that worked, and we can go across. Oh, God. Oh, no. We have to play tic-tac-toe. Maybe he'll be good at tic-tac-toe. Okay, Sam, we weren't able to make a fishing pole to get the lunchbox out of the water, so we'll need to figure that out later. But you did successfully give the pound of gold to the stone door and cross the bridge into the park. Now we're in a new area. There's a toaster sitting on a bench and what appears to be a bunch of tic-tac-toe boards. Would you like to talk to or engage with anything here? Okay. We're talking. Okay, he's making up dialogue with the toaster. Okay, no, we're moving.
What is he talking about? This is going to kill Sam 19. This is bad. <laughs> okay, Sam. When you talked to the toaster, he started up a game of cheese and crackers with you, and it appears to be exactly the same as tic-tac-toe. He went first, and he picked the middle row on the right side. Where would you like to put your X on the tic-tac-toe board? Does Sam get this right? 30-second prediction. Go. Thank you. Okay. Literally throwing. Okay. Jesus Christ, Sam. Okay, Sam. I put your X at the bottom left corner. In response, the toaster put his O in the middle. Where do you put your next X? Does he do it? I don't know, dude. I don't know if he does it. I think he's not going to do it. Okay. Great job, Sam. That is the worst. <laughs> we, we might have to take Sam 19 out back. We need like super intense music for this. Sam, unfortunately you lost the last game of tic-tac-toe, but the toaster is willing to go again. This time, you're up first. Where would you like to put your first X onto the board? This may be the most intense gameplay that has happened on this stream. Okay, strong opener. Okay, this toaster's fucked. Okay, Sam, you put your X in the middle. In response, the toaster put his O in the bottom right. Where would you like to put your next X? <laughs> A little unconventional. Okay, sure. Bottom left. He doesn't block! The toaster doesn't- Okay, the toaster's throwing! He has to see the line! He has to, right? We are gonna put down Sam19 if he does not win this. Your life is on the line. I'm gonna tell him. Okay, Sam, the toaster put his next O in the middle row on the left. Where would you like to put your next X? Your life is on the line. I think I freaked him out. I think I freaked him out. He's having it. Okay. He panicked. He panicked because I threatened him. Okay. Oh, he threw. Literally. Okay. Okay. Sam, you can do this. Okay, Sam. You put your X at the top left and the toaster put his next O in the middle on the right. Where do you put your next X? Do it. There's only, a, there's like a 33, even if it's random, there's a 33% chance he does it. Just by RNG. Do you? Yes! Baga boosh! Get fucked, toaster! You're such a smart boy! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Oh, Baba Gadoosh. Okay, now all that being said, I am not clear that this progresses the game in any way whatsoever. I'm pretty sure that this is just an optional thing you can do. Sometimes when you play the game, you get your, like, lunchbox or something by playing, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. This was just about honor and Sam proving he deserves to be alive. We will do one more if he wants to. Congratulations, Sam. You won the game. It looks like that game of of tic-tac-toe is all wrapped up. We could head back out and explore some other areas in the land of darkness, or you could play another round of tic-tac-toe versus the toaster. What would you like to do? We're out of here. He takes the dub and he bails. Oh, that was a pun. Wow, he makes jokes. Sam 19 is sounding pretty smart. Unless that was an accident. He's so cool. I kind of am falling in love with Sam 19. Like the fact that he responded to having like a gun pointed at him during a tic-tac-toe game by winning, barely. <laughs> Okay, Sam, we're back across the bridge and we have lots of options at our disposal of what to do next. Where would you like to go? What? Uh, Sam 19 just crashed. 
Uh, he's he's just gone. Tic Tac Toe killed him. At least he won a game before he went and jumped into a minecart and disappeared. The stress of Tic Tac Toe. I literally might have broken him by saying I, his life was on the line. Okay, uh, this is a little sad, but that brings us to a nice even Sam number twenty. Welcome to the team, Sam number twenty. Wait, no, I gotta update the number of children. You have twenty older brothers named Sam. Sam twenty one. 19's last words were, I feel like a champion now. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. He's listening. He's listening right now. Excellent. <laughs> Shit! Sam21 is gonna have a bad start to his life. He's not even talking. Okay, I think we just wipe- the clean slate, right? We just clean slate this one. <laughs> Besides, I prefer even numbers. Sam22, welcome to the team! Woo! Oh, I gotta update the brothers. One sec. Sam23 to the team! Sam23 is taking us to the top, dude. Taking us to the top! Doug, there are so many bodies. I have a good feeling about Sam 23. So 23 is um, a Fibonacci sequence if you start at two. No, no well, <laughs> whatever. What would you like to do? Please don't, please don't crash. I know this is a lot to take in, Sam. Figure it out. We can go in the door. We can go through the trivia door. Okay, so you don't. I will say, strong start to Sam number 23. Really pandering to the Twitch chat crowd. Okay, he wants to check out the furniture first, and then he said we can play one of the trivia games. Okay, he said, maybe the furniture can help me find my flashlight and lunchbox. Okay, the furniture is not willing to help him. That means we can move on to the trivia door. Okay, but really, really quick, though. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, 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 focus. Can I boost this a lot? That was Sam 19's dying wish, is for us to have a dance party. All right, let's go. Uh, it appears that Sam 23 was lost in the transition. I don't even know what happened. I was paying attention to Obi. I don't know when he died. Okay, uh, we need a... <laughs> you have 23 older brothers. Doesn't count. If he dies, it counts. If somebody dies in a tragic mining accident, you don't get to point at them and say, doesn't count. They die until Lord Elgrim resurrects. Whatever, dude. 23 fucking sucked, okay? I always was waiting for Sam number 24. Sam 23 was underwhelming. Let's be honest. For the few brief minutes where he was alive, it was not that exciting, okay? But Sam 24, check this shit out, okay? Okay, Sam, what would you like to do next? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I have a very good feeling about Sam 24. He is goaded. He is based. Okay, going back into the trivia. Here's the trivia question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? 622, 121, 328, or 780? Which answer do you select? He is going to be a smart, beautiful boy who remembers that we saw 780 in... Fucking Poggies! Yes! <laughs> Woo! No. Oh. We can go in now, right? Do I have to ask him? If, I guess I do have to ask him. Okay, my, <laughs> I am starting to get tired. We've been going for a goddamn while, all right? Or sorry, it's been 19 hours, yeah. Great job, Sam. You got it correct. As a reward, they will allow us to go through the doors and see what's behind there. But we technically could go check out any of the other stuff in the Land of Darkness. What would you like to do? I have a good feeling about Sam24, dude. I have a really... Okay, he's trying to go back. He wants to go. Okay, we're going to the doors first. What is even going on here? Okay, so we can go up, left. I don't think this is a path. Okay. Hold 
I like that they're Australian. Okay, Sam, we went through the doors. Room. In this room, it appears that there's a door with the number 66 on it, or a door with 3G on it, and a golden handle. What would you like to do? What the fuck? Did he say shit? Okay, he thinks it might be a trap. We're going in the golden handle. Yes. Oh, wow, Sam. When you tried to open the door with a golden handle, the handle fell right off. Now you have a golden handle in your pocket that you could use later. For now, though, there's the door number 66 next to you, or you could go back out into the land of darkness. What do you want to do? Yes, yes, thank God, yes. Yes. Guys, we might 100% this game. Congratulations, Poggies, you found the sock. We only have two more to find. Okay, Sam, we're in what appears to be a small bedroom. There's a bookshelf with various colored books, red, green, blue, and yellow. There's a chair made out of books, and there's an open book with a red divider on a table. What would you like to do? I actually don't... I'm, okay, spoiler, there's a trap door here. It turns around and takes you into a new room. I don't remember how you get there, though. He is so smart. Thank you. I'm seeing some hashtag that's my Sam. We're, we're seeing some Sam pride for 24. He is thorough. He is moving quick, dude. Okay, Sam, you took a look at the open book on the table and it said, in order to open the passageway, you must only open green or something like that. It said to only touch green. And like you said, there's a bookshelf with various colored books that you can interact with. What would you like to do? That was a tiny bit railroady because I don't remember what it, the poem was. I think he'll get this one. Sam 24 is crazy smart. He's crazy smart. He is so fucking poggies. Wait. What? I, what did he say? Hold on. Oh. Only green? Wait, so what, what? Do I just go in or do Okay, we gotta ask Sam. Okay, Sam, I pressed all of the green books and that appeared to be the key. The bookshelf was a secret door and it spun around in a circle with a magnet on the other side of the door. Now we can go through that into the room beyond. What would you like to do? Okay, we're going in. What was the last? He ended it by saying, let's go, exclamation mark. Hippopotamus shit, exclamation mark. That's my Sam. Sam 24 is our best one for sure. Okay. How do we explain what is going on here? Wow, you went through the trapdoor bookshelf and now you're on the other side. It looks like there's a steep staircase downwards into a new area that we can explore. There's also some candles nearby that have glasses and a face. And I saw a magnet on the other side of the door that we passed through. It might be possible to get the magnet in Darkness's house if we were to come back here later. What would you like to do?
Okay, I'll talk to them. Why is he getting so deep? Really fast puberty. <laughs> okay, we've talked all the candles. He wants to go farther down the stairs. Oh, God, there's so much stuff. Okay. We went down the stairs, and now there are two doors. One looks like a normal door, and another one looks like the door that leads into the mines that we saw earlier. Which one would you like to go through? Sam24 is not long for this world. Dude, I'm fine with him throwing in some hippopotamus shit and some hippopotamus fuck, man. That's fine. It's when he gets incoherent. Sam24 is ripping right now. Go normal. Yes. Yes. Yes! Actual reasoning. I won't. Okay, that was a good baga babouche. A little too long, but that's fine. True. Okay, we only have one more sock, and we'll have 100% of this game while playing. Which means I can actually submit this <laughs> as a speedrun in two different categories. I'll be last place by like eight hours in multiple categories. Okay, what the fuck do we do in here? Okay, Sam, this led us into a new room that looks awfully mysterious. It appears to be some sort of chemistry lab. There's a table full of different chemicals with a big book. There's a talking red chair, and there's the dumbwaiter from the kitchen in Darkness's house. Where would you like to go? What would you like to do? If he tries to cook meth or like hippopotamus meth, if he explicitly tries to cook an illicit drug, I will gift 100 subs. He's re- he's unpubertying. He's now becoming a- And he's back into puberty. Thank you, Pajama Sam. Okay, he said first we're going to talk to the dumbwaiter. Okay, he said do that and then check the chemistry lab. That's fair. He said to check all of them and then I'll let him know the dumbbell waiter could go up. That seems fair to me. Weather control. Oh, Jesus Christ. There are so many options here. I don't even know what you actually do in the game. I genuinely don't know. We got to get the magnet to get the lunchbox, obviously, but I don't, we still don't know where the flashlight is. Oh, the knob of the outhouse. Okay. We're gone for 20 hours. This is a red herring. We do not want Sam to get distracted by this. Sam 24 could be ruined by all of this shit because there are like 20 options for goofy things that will just distract him. I'm going to give him the options. I will describe everything. And if he wants to cook, we'll let him cook. Okay, Sam, you went to check out the chemistry lab and it appears that there's a book full of recipes of different things that you can make using the various colored chemicals. Those options include a spell for wealth, fame, anti-gravity, wisdom, Ultra hearing, hair growth, fish, music, fireball, super brain, mouse call, invisibility, marshmallows, voice of power, disguise, or weather control. You could also talk to the red chair in the room, or you could take the dumbbell waiter higher up into the house. You could also explore other areas of the land of darkness, such as the river, which has the lunchbox and the warehouse, I mean outhouse, or the mines, or the furniture room, or go back to look for the magnet that was on the door. What would you like to do? That was a lot. I feel like we're gonna break Sam 24. He's gonna fucking die. He, we're, we're gonna lose him. I think this is the end of Sam 24. Please, just short and coherent. Short, punchy, coherent thing. I want to go get the magnet. We have everything we need to win. We've had all the pieces are here. We just need the AI to figure it out. No.
Yes. Upstairs. Yes, those are way more intriguing. No! Okay, Sam, which combination do you want to try? Fuck! No, he got it. He knew. He fucking knew that we have to go to the river. He said it. None of these are going to help. We have everything we need. Okay, he said anti-gravity, right? Orange, green, and brown. Anti-gravity potion. Okay, that didn't do anything. Let's try invisibility. Purple, green, blue. Time for some changes, kid. Llama shit. Okay, he is going to be so enticed by the fact that he's invisible and not realize it has nothing to do with the solutions. But let's send it. Wow, we Sam, we tried mixing the anti-gravity chemistry potion, but that appeared to be a ripoff. But then we used the invisibility potion and that made me completely invisible. But then after a couple seconds, you became visible again. So it doesn't look like that will do very much for you. What do you want to do next? Please, for the love of God, no more cooking. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. So he said, talk to the chair and then go to the dumb waiter. Yeah, we're seeing, I'm seeing a, a strong audience developing for Sam24. Sam24 has ripped ass. Okay, he said he wants to try going in the... He said go in the dumbwaiter, right? And explore other areas. Okay, we're shooting up, and he's out in the kitchen. Okay, Sam, the red chair didn't have anything to say, but the dumbwaiter sent us up into the kitchen. What would you like to do? Take the knife? No, I don't want him... We've had several suicidal Sams. We don't want him being near sharp objects. This guy... This Sam seems pretty happy. Not really. Two of them do. No, we've already... No, no, no. Oh, warehouse. What do I said warehouse. It's the outhouse, right? It's the fucking outhouse. I say, I accidentally call it a warehouse. Yeah, he does appear to be nutting. I mean, he is going through puberty. It's time to take 24 out back. 24 is still doing great. What do you, I, th I honestly think 24 is getting us to the end. We have three things to do. Open the outhouse and get the thing inside. Pick up the magnet and get the lunchbox. That's it. He's still totally coherent. He's been great. Most of them were starting to lose their mind by now. Okay. All right, Sam, you're back at the outhouse on the river. Unfortunately, you can't open the door because there's no handle on the door right now. As a reminder, in your inventory, you have the, your pajama Sam mask, you have a can of oil, and you have the golden doorknob from before. What do you want to do? That's not railroading. That's telling him what items he has. That is not railroading. He's going to try to jam his mask in there or something. Just put the... <laughs> Sam. 
Sam, I just called your older brothers, but none of them are picking up. It appears the line has been disconnected to their house. Inspecting the lock doesn't do anything on the door because there is no lock. What would you like to do now? He has become self-aware that something is wrong with his brothers, but maybe he just focuses on the door. We might need to preemptively. No. What the fuck? Please, please. Yes! Yes, Puggies! Okay, the good news is that he figured it out. He fucking freaked out and realized the answer. The problem is that after saying the answer, he then went off on a weird tangent. Let's melt it fitly, of course, and pour it to the pirate toy shell. He lost his mind at the end of this. We might be losing 24. I want 24 to get to the end. He's really close. There's two more things we have to do, but he is starting to lose it. I don't know where that pirate came from, dude. Great job, Sam. Putting the golden doorknob on the door seemed to work. And now you might be able to go into the outhouse and see what's inside. Or you could do whatever else you want. Please remember to keep your answers short. He just needs to hold on a little bit longer. Okay, that was a really good bugaboo boosh. Apparently he does not just pick up the flashlight. Okay, Sam, you walked into the outhouse and you saw your flashlight up on a shelf. There's also some other things like pots and books and a mousetrap. What would you like to do? Guys, Sam24 has like three more turns to live. He is losing it fast. Fast. Uh, okay. He did say to get the flashlight, right? <laughs> I think. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, he said to grab the flashlight. He said to grab the flashlight. Okay. All he has to do is get onto the barrel. Okay, Sam. It looks like there's a barrel that you can stand on. The flashlight is up on a shelf and it's too high to reach where you're currently standing. What do you want to do? Come on. <laughs> True. Just stay focused, Sam. He just needs to get on the barrel and grab the flashlight. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay, that was pretty coherent. <laughs> I mean, he's so close, dude. He's so close. The lunchbox is sitting in the river. I think we can get Sam 24 to the end. I honestly do. I think we can get him there. This was more coherent. The pirate shit was like way off track. The problem now is I, I can't railroad him and be like, you could get the magnet. Okay, I'm going to describe all the things he could do, including the magnet. Okay, Sam, you did it. You got your flashlight. The only thing left to find before we can fight darkness is your signature edition all metal pajama Sam lunchbox that's currently at the bottom of the river. Right now, 
you don't have a way to get the lunchbox, but you could explore some other areas in the land of darkness. You could go back into the mines and search the paths there. You could go back into Darkness's house and see the furniture or the kitchen, or try to find that magnet that turned around on the door that's now accessible through the doors of trivia. Or you could keep exploring the river, including the tic-tac-toe park and the place where the lunchbox is. Or you could go back to the very beginning. What would you like to do, Sam? I know he loves tic-tac-toe. That's the problem. This guy fucking loves tic-tac-toe. But I think, I think he can piece it together, dude. He's gotten a little crazy, but maybe you need a little bit of craziness to solve a puzzle that's this hard. Come on. Magnet. Yes! Go fucking Poggies, my man. My fucking Sam, dude. My Sam. We're taking 24 to the end. He he had a little, like, brief relapse, but he's good again. He's good right now. This is simultaneously by far one of the worst streams I've ever done and the most epic and gratifying. <laughs> Let's revisit the magnet on the door. Revisit means grab it. <sighs> Sam 24. You are one decision away from completing this game. You have all the pieces. You just need to realize that you can use the magnet to pick up the lunchbox from the river. Great job, Sam. You were able to pick up the magnet off of the door. Now you have a magnet that you're carrying around that you can use in the future. Now what would you like to do next? Come on. Come on. <gasps> I have terrible news. Sam, 24, killed himself. He couldn't handle the pressure. There was too much information. The pressure was too high, dude. It was too high. He just shut down. He died tragically. I think he had a pacemaker and the magnet turned it off. <laughs> Fuck. He was so, he was such a perfect boy. Oh, yes. So, at the end of it all, we are on to our 25th Sam. This Sam is the final. 24 was the goat. He was the goat shit. But Sam, 25. We cannot lose him. Everything we've worked toward has been towards 25. Sam, 24, put all of the pieces in place so that Sam, 25, could take us home. Sam, 25, welcome to the world. Finish the job, 25. He needs to make one decision. Use the magnet to get the lunchbox and then technically walk into Darkness's bedroom. Okay, Sam 25, your brothers might be missing, but you know that they always wanted you to finish this adventure for them. That was their dying wish. And now it's your opportunity, Sam 25. So far in this adventure, you lost your Pajama Sam mask and your Pajama Sam flashlight. But fortunately, you managed to find both of those. The only thing left to find is your Pajama Sam Signature Edition All Metal Lunchbox. You found it in the river, but it's too deep in the river, and you couldn't find a way to grab it yet. Since then, you've explored through the mines, found gold that you spent to go play tic-tac-toe. You found a doorknob and opened an outhouse and discovered your flashlight inside. You helped some communist carrots. You danced with furniture, and you answered questions. Right now, in your possession, you have a can of oil, your mask, your flashlight, and the magnet that you picked up. All that's left is to find a way to get your lunchbox. What do you do, Sam? That's a lot. That's a lot to throw at a brand new boy. Come on! Finish it! Yes! Yes! Sam! Fucking 25! We're going! Sam25, you're a fucking genius! I love you! You just avenged all of your dead brothers! Now let's get that goddamn lunchbox. His adventures changed him. Magnet. Lunchbox. Finish the fight, 25.
The only thing you have to do is go up into Darkness' bedroom. I think the sock, there's probably a sock in there. Okay, Sam25, you figured it out. You were able to use the magnet to pick up the lunchbox, and now you have all three of your items again. Your flashlight, your mask, and your lunchbox, which means you have everything you need to go capture Darkness. If you remember from earlier, Darkness' bedroom was at the top of his house, and you couldn't enter until you had all of your items. What would you like to do now? He just, literally the game ends if he says, go into Darkness's bedroom. Classic. No. 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 No, 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 no. 25. Finish the fight. Finish the fight. No! You were so close! Fuck! That doesn't make sense! Sam25, it is 11.15 at night. Can you please tell me to stop? Okay, here. Okay, um, he also wanted to check out the chemistry. Okay, Sam, you went and visited the dancing furniture, and you learned how to boogie. You also visited the chemistry set, and you can check out some of those recipes if you would like. You could also go back to the mines, or the tic-tac-toe park, or head up to Darkness's room in order to finally capture Darkness, now that you have all three of your missing items recovered. What would you like to do? Please, you know how to boogie. You have everything you need. Do not cook. Do not cook. You don't. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! He's ready! The boy is ready! No, 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 he, there's no time. Okay, we're going into Darkness's room. Chat, I see something. Click maps are now live. We just one hundred percent of the fucking game. Okay, Sam, you went through the door, and now you're in Darkness's bedroom. It looks like you could interact with the bed or his cabinet, but there's also a closet door with a big lock on it. What would you like to do? Finish the fight, twenty-five. No, go. You. Okay, he wants to check the bed. There's nothing in the bed. It's a baseball pitch under the bed. Nothing under there except an egg. He, he needs to click this door and the game is over. Okay, 25. The bed didn't have anything on top of it or underneath it. It looks like you can interact with the closet or the shelf or go back to anything else in the land of darkness. What do you want to do? Tell him about the egg. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't I forgot about the egg. Go in the closet. Yeah, yes, yes. Clicked. Wait. Do we have to go, like, play tic-tac-toe to get the key? Oh, wait, the shelf. Okay. 
It's probably there's probably a key in here. Hold on, <laughs> please. This is giving him way too many opportunities to decide he wants to go play tic tac toe. This is dangerous. Oh no, Sam! The lock on the closet door won't let you open it. You'll have to find some way to open that lock. There's a shelf in the room that you can check out, or you can go back to any of the other areas in the land of darkness. What do you want to do? Twenty five might fucking die. With every minute that he stalls, he increases his chance of death. He's hurtling ever closer to the abyss. Can I tell him that you saw a key in the shelf still? I'll tell him there's a pile of keys and also that there was one that was still on in the shelf. That's fine. He would have seen that if he was looking. Oh, wow, Sam. You opened up the cabinet and a big pile of keys fell out. There's so many keys piled up on the floor now. You also saw one key remaining at the back of the shelf that didn't fall out. What would you like to do? Try all the keys, 25. No, please no. 25, you can figure this out. No, it, it's in the... No. No, just... No! He, sh he said, first, let's see if that one key that didn't fall out of the shelf fits the lock. Oh, my God. Sh Sam 25, you fucking genius. That's it. You fucking genius. <laughs> it's literally... One click now. It's one click. I am going to tell him all of the things that he could do back in the land of darkness. So there's no railroading. I will recap everything he can go do. Finish the fight. 25. <sighs> Great job, Sam. The one key that was remaining in the shelf opened the lock on the closet door. Now the closet in darkness's bedroom is open and you can enter. But technically, you could also go back to the Land of Darkness and explore any of the areas there, such as the minecarts, the river, the tic-tac-toe park, or the other rooms in Darkness's house, like the chemistry lab or the dancing furniture. What would you like to do? I feel like I made it too tempting. I feel like I'm, I was I, I hyped up the other shit too much. He's got he's to gotta decide to end it. He needs to go into the closet. Go in. We are going in. F. A bugger boosh. This is it. Oh, twenty five. 20 fucking five! And that's how Sam25 actually made it to the end of this game without going insane or being shot. And he enjoyed a heartwarming ending sequence where he actually becomes friends with Darkness and they play a game of tic-tac-toe together all night long. Congratulations. Sam, you fucking did it. And all of your dead brothers that I murdered have been avenged. Thanks to you, Sam25. What do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say to all the Sams who were lost on this journey?
No, no, no. Do you do not need to investigate their death? Oh no, 25, look out! Oh shit, the investigation ends. And thus, Sam 25 was happily reunited with his brothers. What a heartwarming ending. And best of all, the speedrun moderators actually approved this as a speedrun, which means I'm honored to say that me and the Sam brothers are now officially one of the top 100 Pajama Sam speedrunners of all time. Baba Gaboosh!